Okay, lane 18. Come on, cat. Ticket number 25, your order's ready at the snack bar. It's a Thursday night at Oak Hills Lanes. Your balls rumble down the alley, slamming into pins like lightning in a Texas thunderstorm. And in the Oak Room... Come on, Hiram. Let's go, Hiram. Hiram Walker is on a roll. Walker might be the most well-known person in the alley. Billy, you're supposed to hit the head pin. He bowls in several leagues. He's pretty good, too. He carries the 172 average. But his fame goes beyond the lanes. Well, I went to school. I had a school for one week. And they told me, oh, the rest of you have to learn on your own. Hiram is the man behind the curtain. And he's had plenty of time to learn everything. Sometime they stick. Yeah, it was 1968, July 31st. He's been the bowling alley's master mechanic for 56 years. So I came over here and talked to him and said, uh, I need a mechanic. Uh, think you can come to work for me? I uh, say, sure. She offered you more money? Yes, she offered me more money. So I've been here ever since. When he started, bowling was about 35 cents a game. It's apparently been a match made in heaven. I like working on the machines and stuff like that. And, and the pay is good. Don't forget bowlers. It also paid off in a way Hiram never saw coming when he made that first approach. Also, our bar is open for your convenience. He's one of a kind. He's one of a kind. This is Callista, Hiram's wife. You might say Oak Hills is their lover's lane. Yes, I picked up my husband here. <laughs> Callista has worked here almost 45 years. First in the nursery, then the snack bar. Now, you want a shot? She just bartends one day a week. You want to leave it open? He works the back, and I work up here, so that's how we got along. You stay there, we get to stay up here, we get along. Good. When the league's bowling, I watch everything. Hiram knows he doesn't have to work. Like most of us, though, he does need it. He's not ready to retire. I see that. You know, he likes this too much. Keep me going. I have something to do. At any given moment of the day, you can find Hiram literally up to his elbows in a machine. Now turn it on and see if it works. Technology has made things a lot easier. I put the machine down and push a button. For starters, no more hand sanding and buffing the lanes. It cleans them, buffs them, awes them, comes back and goes to the next lane. Why is that? Doing the lanes, I can do all the other stuff. At 82, though, things naturally get a little tougher. So Hiram is making sure the pins are set for the next frame. I almost seem like my grandfather. Angel De Leon is also a mechanic. Hiram taught me so much that when I got sent to school, I was actually helping the instructor teach the students there. He's learning and knows Hiram is always just a phone call away. Yeah, we'll keep him on the speed dial. <laughs> so does the owner, Connie Gillette. She also knows one day she'll be the one getting the call. I wouldn't blame him. He's earned his retirement. I would miss him dearly. Hiram knows that day's coming too, just not tomorrow. Well, uh, maybe a couple more years. For now, Heading into his seventh decade here, yeah. Hiram is still rolling along <laughs> and says he has no intention to split anytime soon. That was what somebody told me. What are they going to do when you leave? One more and you get a beer. <laughs> In San Antonio, Barry Davis, <laughs> Ken's Five.